Thank you, Jeff. Very special guest this morning. We're here to present you the 2010 American Honey Queen. That's right. Her name is Lisa Schlut Schluttenhofer. And Lisa, you're in town this weekend. Talk all about the importance of bees and the benefits of honey. What are you here in town for this weekend? I'm here doing a lot of school presentations, talking to elementary, middle, and high school students, telling them about the importance, how honeybees provide the building blocks of our food supply. There you go, and they're very important, of course, in pollination, right? One third of everything that we eat depends on honeybees, including crops like almonds, blueberries, cucumbers, and over 90 different crops need honeybees in pollination, including crops here in Kentucky. There you go, and uh, you, were, you brought some honey. We'll show some of that in a second, but uh, you're a college student, correct? I am. I'm a student at Purdue University studying natural resources and environmental science. And you, you didn't have a family history. My grandfather was a beekeeper, so I, I kind of know what it's a little bit about, but you just, how did you get into it? You're the first person in your family ever to get interested in this and uh, to, to keep bees. I am the first person in my family that has ever kept bees before, and so anybody can really be a beekeeper. On the hobby level, there are people that take care of honeybees just for fun as something for pollination services. There's also beekeepers that are commercial beekeepers as their livelihood, as their business. And so I got started with a flyer for a class, and got more involved and learned more about it. There you go. We're looking at some uh, bee from Sutton's. Uh, they're down in Lancaster. Some award-winning honey. And that creamy honey is interesting. I've never had that. What does that taste like compared to your regular honey? Creamed honey by itself tastes just like honey. It's the only thing in, in there. But it is in a spreadable consistency that you can enjoy on a biscuit or on a piece of toast. Love that with a little peanut butter. Oh, that's unbelievable. But uh, where are you going to be specifically this weekend? Uh, and uh, for more information, where do we go on the Internet? I, for this next week, I will be in the Paris and Lexington area. I've got a, the Bourbon Central Elementary School this afternoon. For more information about the Honey Queen program and the value of honeybees in pollination, you can visit www.abfnet.org. abfnet.org. You see that on your screen. And uh, honey, good for you good for the rest of our crops and uh, if I had any peanut butter I'd be hitting that in the break but speaking of the break when we come back we'll have your uh, latest tech news a survey showing a majority of adults now Google themselves the details are up next but first you still have time to answer the question of the day there's approximately 93.6 million of these in the US what are they call us 859-566-3636 Email us gmk at wtvq.com or find us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll be right back. <laughs> 